Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning to everyone in Europe. And we've got some people in Australia. So good evening to you. And wherever you are in the world, welcome along to today's webinar on cutting IT costs. My name's Tom, I'm with Pharonix, and thanks very much for your time today. Thanks for joining the session. I hope it's going to prove helpful if you're trying to cut your IT costs. If you've got any questions, please just put them in a Zoom chat, and I'll be very happy to answer them at the end of the session. So it's no secret that running an IT department can be expensive. Technology is evolving all the time, and you always want the best cybersecurity, and there's a constant demand for hardware and software updates. So they're just a few of the factors that are driving up costs. But the good news really is that with the right strategies, the right tools, you can gain better control over your outgoings, and you can allocate resources more effectively. That's what we're going to try and help you achieve today. So before I jump into the main presentation, I'll just give you a brief introduction to Pharonix. We're a company dedicated to helping organizations streamline their IT operations and maximize their IT budgets. And our solutions are trusted by over 33,000 customers around the world. Today, we're very happy to share our expertise with you. <clears throat> so why does this webinar matter? In today's competitive environment, cost efficiency is really a key driver of success. So by optimizing your spending, you can also you can save money, but you can also position your organization for growth and resilience. So thanks very much for joining today. And let's let's embark on a journey to financial efficiency in your IT department. There's a backdrop of news items at the moment, which aren't very nice headlines often relating to the worldwide economy. And that is having an effect on the ground. So you're getting a lot of headlines about inflation and recession is a word that's getting thrown around by the media. There's, a, there's quite a lot of companies not quite doing as well as they were and looking at drawing in the purse strings. So that's why... We're seeing that um, saving money is, is really a hot topic among IT managers at the moment. Yeah, that macroeconomic climate is, is really feeding into the, the IT budget in a typical small, medium, or even large enterprise. Then that IT manager, I mean, you probably feel like you've always been under pressure to deliver the best service for the lowest cost, but that pressure might have intensified over the last year or so. Fortunately, we can help in a few different ways. So I'm going to show you a product called Phoronix Cloud Deep Freeze. And Phoronix Cloud Deep Freeze can cut your IT costs significantly. So Phoenix Cloud Deep Freeze is one cloud platform to manage all your devices with. So the URL is deepfreeze.com. So you're going to be able to manage all your devices from the cloud. So that is one straightforward way of reducing a cost because you, you're going to reduce your dependency on a server. It's one cloud platform. The cost involved in buying and maintaining and running servers to do your endpoint management, you don't need those, you don't need that cost. You can rely on, on the cloud. And here I'm looking at the inventory page, which shows me all my hardware, and it shows me a lot of information about my hardware. So I can see the processor, the RAM, the system drive usage, operating system, IP address, physical location, how many Windows updates are pending, the warranty end date. Lots of other columns I can 
choose to add to my grid here. I can just drag and drop from the column chooser and just configure this grid once to show me the information I need. And I'm therefore going to be able to make really good decisions about the life cycle of my hardware from one auto refreshing page. So I no longer need a spreadsheet to keep track of my hardware, what is running on what device and where. It's going to update automatically. And I'm going to be able to get real time live information about my computers. And that's going to save me money because I'm going to, I don't have to spend time or my team doesn't have to spend time digging around or even physically walking around if you've got a lot of computers in different locations to find out this information. So the information is immediately available at my fingertips. I don't have to spend time looking for it. And then once I have that information, I can make good decisions which maximize the performance and the life of my hardware. So I can save I can save time and money on the management of my hardware, and I can also save a lot of time and money on the management of my software. So under the software updated module, I just have to select the applications I want to keep up to date. It's a long list. I'll scroll down to show the whole list. And these applications are going to be updated automatically. So if software updates are a task that takes up a lot of time for my IT team, it no longer needs to take any time at all because I, I just need to select the applications I want to keep up to date and schedule a maintenance period. So I might say between midnight and one o'clock on a Friday morning, all that software is going to be kept up to date. No downtime. I don't lose any, I don't lose any usability. I'm not costing my my end users are not wasting time while software updates. All that can deliver in the background while everyone's asleep. And my IT team don't need to spend any time on software updates at all. Although they can if they want under the applications page. So here on the applications page, I can see, I always know what version of what software I'm running and where. So having a look, for example, at these apps, I can see I've got orange color means that this app is outdated. So I can just select that cell and hit the update button. That's just gonna update it. Um, and here I've got a blank cell. So this application is not installed on that machine, so I can install it there. I'll install it. And I can also uninstall. So here I've got an up-to-date application, but if I don't want it, I can just uninstall. So these three buttons, install, uninstall, update on a smart grid, really time consuming, really not time consuming, really intuitive, um, really user-friendly. And if I have applications that didn't appear on that list, um, on the on the policy list, I can just easily create my own custom apps. Um, so long as I can populate these fields, then I can add any app I want and I can deploy that app on my estate. So in software updates, you can schedule everything to happen or you can do it on demand. But whichever way you do it, it's very likely that it's an extremely, it's going to save a lot of time compared to however you may be doing it at the moment. And the same with Windows updates. So Windows updates, obviously an essential task for an IT team. You, you need to ensure that when Microsoft deliver patches, those, those patches are really important. Microsoft are identifying vulnerabilities and they're patching against those vulnerabilities all the time. And you don't want to have a lag where a hacker has a window between 
um, a vulnerability uh, being patched, um, you want to make sure that your updates are delivered almost as soon as they're available. And you can do that via Foronix Cloud Deep Freeze. And you can specify which categories of update you want to deliver in which way. So you probably want to always install critical and security updates. And then you might want to set up an approval stage for other categories of updates, but you don't have to. You can always install everything if you want. And you've got quite a lot of op options around how that works in practice. And again, you, you can schedule a maintenance period and you can have your Windows updates deliver in the middle of the night with no downtime. There's, there's no reason for your IT team to be spending any time on Windows updates. And there's also no reason for your end users to have that extremely frustrating screen that we've all seen many times where you want to get on with your work, but you can't because you're waiting for Windows updates to deliver. So there's just no reason for any of that inefficiency. You can totally remove that as a, as a problem. So you can schedule your Windows updates as you can with your software updates. And you can also deliver your Windows updates on demand if you wish on the Windows updates page. I mean, you can just click that install missing patches if you want. So that's just one button to um, update everything. Um, and you've got the patch scan button as well. Um, and you can do it by category of updates. So here I've got some updates that um, require approval. So I might just hit approve or maybe approve all. Um, and then I can do it by category of updates. So I can look at what needs approving and approve, approval or deny. Um, so it's just very easy to manage your Windows updates and very easy to know exactly where you are by, by device. So here I can see I've got a highly vulnerable machine. Um, I That's instantly available to me. So obviously that wouldn't happen if I was going to schedule my updates. I wouldn't get a highly vulnerable machine. But if I choose not to schedule them and I'd rather do it on demand, then it's just a couple of clicks really from just keeping everything up to date. So software updates and Windows updates can save a huge amount of time and therefore money. And with software, this report, um, this often uh, generates quite a big return on investment just on its own because this is a software license compliance report. And it shows all the software I'm paying for. It shows me how many licenses I'm paying for. And of those licenses, how many I'm using, when the licenses expire, whether I'm compliant or not. And when, as an IT manager, when your heads of department are coming around, at, when, when it's time for budgeting and, and people are coming around saying, I need these licenses for, for this software, sometimes you'll get so, someone saying, well, I need 10 more licenses for this piece of software. And this report is a very useful tool in that at that time of year, because quite often you'll be able to say, well, we're not using half the licenses we're paying for at the moment. So we're actually going to reduce our license count rather than adding 10 more. Let's start by using what we pay for. And at multiply up, um, you can often get some quite big savings. And, and sometimes people have some software that they don't even really realize they're paying for. So only pay for the software you need. Very straightforward way to cut your IT costs. And this software licensing report will allow you to do that extremely easily. Now, if you are if you have a few sites and when your help desk, when your IT team have a an issue, they're they're physically walking around um, or driving around even from site to site. You can cut that cost with Remote Connect. 
So here are my computers and I can just select this machine and remote directly into it. So user permission will be requested and if that's granted, then I can just establish a remote session and I can immediately see what issue my user has faced and fix it remotely. So if you've got travel time, um, then that's really dead time that you don't really need anymore. It doesn't really matter where you are. It doesn't really matter where your computers are. It's one cloud platform and you can manage them from the cloud and you can just remote in directly. Then a further way of saving money is on energy. The price of electricity has gone up quite a lot in the last couple of years and you can use our power save module to really intelligently save save money on electricity so you can make sure you're shutting down standing by or hibernating if you have a certain amount of inactivity um, you can set this to happen at certain times of the week um, and you can make sure that there's no need to disrupt anyone's work, no need to disrupt your users, no need for frustration in that respect, because you can notify your users in advance and you can allow your users to defer power management. Um, and if someone's got some work open, then you can make sure that that work is not lost because um, open documents can be saved in the location that you specify and you can notify that user. Um, and if you then, if you know how much you're paying per kilowatt hour for your electricity, you're then going to have access to the power save reports, which are filterable by date, by computer, and you'll be able to see how much money you're saving, um, which can quite quickly add up. Uh, so it's not unrealistic to expect that you, if you use a module like this, you, you can save one or two euros per device per month. And if you multiply that up, then um, if you've got a lot of computers, then that can save uh, quite a lot of money. And you also have the chance to show off your green credentials because you'll be able to report on how many acres of trees you're saving, barrels of oil, cars taken off the road and tons of CO2. So, price of electricity has gone up that's a, that's an increase in the cost base and you can really take action to mitigate that without disrupting your users and then really the the crown jewel is is deep freeze deep freeze is a reboot to restore solution so if i select this machine and restart it from here it's going to restart in its original state. So any local changes that were introduced by the user, they will disappear on restart. And you can set it so that when the when the user restarts or, or shuts down and then uh, the next session starts, then the hard drive is cleaned out. So there are several benefits to deep freeze as a reboot to restore solution. So you've got the, the help desk benefit. A large proportion of your help desk tickets are just going to disappear um, because most issues are solved by a restart and you don't have to be physically present to perform that restart. And you don't, you're not requiring on, you're not requiring IT expertise on the ground in order to perform that restart anyone can do it and whatever the issue was is is gone nearly all the time and you're going to eliminate configuration creep you're going to ma maintain a consistent image that you always return to a further benefit is you're going to minimize the impact of hardware degradation so your hardware is expensive, computers are expensive. And when you make a big investment in computers, you want them to last as long as you can. So if 
every time a computer starts, it starts basically brand new with a with a clean machine. You're not slowing the computers down with all the clutter that accumulates over time. Then the performance of your hardware is going to be optimized. It's a faster, smoother, better user experience. And your before your hardware performance is going to be greater and the hardware is going to last longer. So that big investment you make in your computers, you get a greater return on your investment. It's a longer wait before the hardware reaches end of life and needs replacing. And then a further benefit is the security benefit, because suppose you suppose you're attacked or you have a virus or any security threat at all. So maybe you had a ransomware attack or you suspect a ransomware attack. You just select all those machines and restart them. You have immediately recovered from the ransomware attack. It's gone. You're not spending months trying to work out where the infection has spread to. You're not using up all your IT resources on um, recovering and never really being completely sure if you have recovered. Instead, it's just a restart and you're, you're, it's, a, it's a very, very powerful layer of security. You can have lots of other layers of security um, and there are quite a few in the product and you can have layers of security from elsewhere, but it's very reassuring to know that you don't that that if you have something bad happen like a ransomware attack then it is not going to cost you um, as much as it would otherwise so looking at the components of endpoint management uh, Fornix Cloud Deep Freeze can help you in four key areas. So you've got the patch management there in the top left. We can automate all of that. So you don't need to worry about that. It can save a lot of time and effort on patch management. On Help Desk, we make it really easy to manage your tickets. And we also just dispose of a load of tickets with deep freeze. Um, and you've also got imaging and ticketing there, which are modules I didn't show you, but again, they can save you a lot of time and make you more efficient. When it comes to inventory and analytics, you can always find out what you need to know about your workstations. And on endpoint security, there's a really strong package of measures to protect you and reduce your risk and reduce your cost risk. And so taken together, um, Fornix Cloud will, will cover your needs and, and save you time, make you more efficient in all these areas. Um, but it's not as if you need to throw your baby out with the bathwater. You can try one of these services and, and move on to the others gradually. So we've sold 12 million licenses now around the world. So we've successfully helped a lot of people save money for a long time now. We've saved a lot of people a lot of money um, in the in the ways I showed there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that all of them have to be tried all at once. But even if one of those ways of saving time has an effect, that can have a big effect, and you can get a very healthy return on your investment. So, the benefits of Forex Cloud, you you will reduce your costs in terms of personnel, helpless tickets, server dependency, but it's scalable. Um, so software as a service, so you only can track what you need. You can scale up and down extremely easily and you're gonna increase your security and significantly reduce the risk of being hacked. We offer a free one month trial. You can sign up to that from our website. So you can try it out for a month without any obligation. So you can see how much money you save in a month and then multiply that up and work out 
how much money you would save over a year and beyond. Thanks very much for attending today's session. I'm just going to leave this QR code on screen. If you'd like to schedule a demo, we'll happily discuss your particular needs and talk about how we can save money in your environment. If you have some questions that I didn't cover up that would relate to um, the particular needs of your computers, very happy to discuss them on a demo. Um, but otherwise, thanks very much for your time. Lovely to be with you today. And we'll catch you on the next webinar. Bye-bye.